blood. It's the life force flowing through you at a rate of more than a gallon every minute. Everyone has blood, but what is it made of and why do we need it? Blood's composition is actually quite intricate, but the general goal is to get all the stuff that you need to live where it needs to go and all the stuff that you don't want in your body out. It's made up of mainly water, a variety of cells, proteins, ions, glucose, and hormones. The most important cells are erythrocytes, also known as red blood cells. They carry oxygen and can also help move carbon dioxide through your blood. Right now you have approximately 25 trillion red blood cells circulating throughout your body. One microliter, which is one millionth of a liter, contains about 5 million red blood cells. Also, 7,000 white blood cells, which help fight infections, and 350,000 platelets, which can help stop bleeding. These cells all work together in sync to make sure you're happy and healthy. But your body also makes tons of proteins that are floating around in your blood. The most important protein of them all is hemoglobin, which is located inside your red blood cells. Red blood cells are just a giant bag of almost all hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein that carries up to four oxygen molecules and deliver oxygen to where it's needed in your body. Your blood that is leaving the lungs is nearly 99% saturated with oxygen. But surprisingly, the blood that is coming back to the lungs to get resaturated still has about 75% of that oxygen. One common misconception is that deoxygenated blood is blue, but that's totally wrong. Normal blood is a bright red, I'm sure you've seen it at some time in your life, and deoxygenated blood is just a bit darker than that. Glucose is your body's main energy source. In normal individuals, glucose is heavily regulated in your blood, and your entire body just plain would not function without a steady supply of it. The hormones that travel through your body are extremely important. They can regulate your physiology and your behavior. Hormones are ways that distant organs or body systems can communicate with each other. They can affect anything from digestion, metabolism, respiration, sleep, development, and even your mood. Maybe now you'll understand how trillions of complicated little tiny things work together to make sure you can live your life to the fullest. Be thankful that every time you get a cut, you're able to fight off the infection, clog up the hole, and live another day.